Grace and Peace for October 5th. Our topic this week is spiritual fatigue. As we are talking with members of the church, even friends, visitors, spiritual fatigue seems to be something that we can all relate to. We may not call it spiritual fatigue. It may just be fatigue that people are articulating. Maybe we're calling it exhaustion or just a kind of discomfort or disquiet, but it does leave us tired or on edge. We have a lot of biblical characters who can absolutely relate or to whom we can relate. Today, I'm gonna pull Hagar as a character to talk about, to understand. From Genesis, Hagar came onto the scene and she wasn't treated very well. And she left when Sarah, Sarai at that point, was not treating her kindly. Hagar just headed into the wilderness. In the wilderness, she encountered an angel of God and in the end, Hagar did head back. But there's a key question that the angel asked, and that question was, from where have you come and where are you going? Sometimes in the midst of just this exhausted upheaval, Finding center in the moment of from where have I come and where am I going? That provides a prayerful moment for me, an angelic moment. Finding God in what seems like a vast wilderness of lostness, of nothingness when I feel completely out of control. <clears throat> I'll bet Hagar felt a lot like that. She didn't ask to be treated the way she was being treated. She didn't ask for a particular situation. It all felt just overwhelming. And she just took off. I can relate. But in that wilderness, she encountered God. In our wildernesses, in that lostness, we too encounter God. And after finding or being found by the angel, from where have you come and where are you going? Hagar had that realization. Have I really? seen God face to face and lived. And Hagar remains one of those women that we talk about, we know her name. And Hagar named God. She called him Elroy, the God who sees. In this time, time of turmoil, turbulent times, unprecedented times. How often have we heard those phrases? What remains the same is that just as Hagar named it, we have a God who sees. A God who, as we are in that wilderness, will find us, sees us, and will listen to anything we need to say, a God that is completely safe for us to just say, ah, it's not fair, I'm so tired. From where have you come and where are you going? Because I see you, beloved child of mine and I'm with you on the journey. You are never alone. 
and I know you're exhausted, but I've got you. So many of our biblical characters know this feeling that we feel. God sees us and God is with us, blessing us and holding us on this journey. Amen.